how do you go about this job of of you know um tackling this problem and this fight against illegal oil refining i've been fighting uh economy sabotage for 19 years today because i see that that is the area where the country needed all the most mm. uh actually so far if you can see me now uh you see that i've changed drastically mm. from when when you know me uh, yes yes uh, i was born third degree bond i was born a tanker a tanker that was loading illegally was caught the whole place was vandalized so we decided to set the tanker ablaze so why doing that i think uh, in the presence of a uh, major ado was there um the captain osoni uh, captain osoni and uh, uh and the lieutenant osoni and captain Mohammed. I think three of uh, Tantita and all that, and the president of a former IG called Uwando now. We are to set that tanker ablaze. So it was our duty because we, we are the sovereign contractor. Mm. So trying to set that uh, truck ablaze, the flame, the thing exploded and burnt me uh, to third degree. Now, it was, it was a very, I, I think I, I came to see you at the time yes, when yes. we got the report. I burnt, I burnt to the point of death. And I don't know how I'm alive today. Only God know, because if you see me, you see my photos and pictures. You see that I was born to the point. I was rejected by different hospitals, and how God kept me alive, I don't know. But you can mm. see I'm a little bit disfigured you yeah, know, because of the fire burnt mm. and all that. So it was heavy, and that is uh, the price I pay for my country. Whether they feel it or not, if there's some country to be, with what has happened to me, even Mr. President or the NMPC will invite you and see what they can do for you but up to today nothing happened mm. and that my bone i think he sees issue of loading of tankers in that area i Which shot area was i that shot at it the down time where that happened is there uh, at a uh, almost going to ebema area there, there are many who have said the the these these uh, illegal re refined products when you apprehend those who are behind it and you get the products they should be disposed differently some people think that burning them or just disposing them that way it's not the best is that something that have been discussed among the the nhfss to say okay how can we better ways to do this to safeguard ourselves as well and also to ensure that we safeguard the environment which has been a major conversation yes uh, we decide uh, on recently we decided to evacuate them and have a special place to dispose them okay the ones that is value send back to the company for use but oh oh, the, oh the one when you when you get this product there are some that have like no the value crude, anymore like the raw crude okay. the raw crude you see valued okay you discharge them and send them bring them back to to the refining but you already uh, refined thing. ones that that no, refine at that them, level some of them that refine are not refined properly so they are not professionally refined that they can use oh uh, you know even if people are using them but you see that sometimes you see my engine get problem okay and those of, are the ones that you uh, then have before, to destroy before are born mm. spoil my engine uh, this one dude is because of the or the fact so he's the one that everybody have now the raw crude we are talking about damage the soil of mm. and anywhere this damage is caused they call it spillage the, the whole place will be damaged the land will not be fatter for more than 20 or more, more years mm. so you can see the damage that these people are causing these vendors are causing so what happened is that sometimes the company work with them so that the thing will not dry on that load and and destroy the land mm. so they work with them back to the system for okay. use okay but if this refined ones some of them are not properly refined so when they refine it they can refine it to their own test the way they want not professionally mm. so they sell it everywhere and that is why you hear about the engine my engine don't damage the four hour buy no good mm. all these ones so the company cannot observe them to use them in their uh, system so that's anyway. why you'd have to burn so those we, ones we now evacuate them to certain area where we dispose them all right so so in river state so far how much uh, effort has been put in when you look at the effort would you say that there, there's some positive things to take out of it? which areas are we having this problem and what best you think can be done to address it in in those areas in river state honestly um um every part where we have a pipeline major pipeline driven line kudoye condescent which is crazy and fuel pipeline there is vandalization you know that is how it is it's like a culture 
now and any party you need to find out that that almost 80 percent of the environment people are involved benefiting in one way or the other any areas i wouldn't say this particular area or the other area is the worst go mm. to every part of where they have major pipelines across communities there is vandalization there is bunker activity going on there you mm. see people selling black market all over the road a, a, a part of river state it is all from illegal oil bunker they don't buy from any petrol station or refinery so mm. the point now is that these areas where they have this pipeline 80 percent more children fathers were arrested 12 years like few days ago about two days ago arrested 12 and 13 years in fact they have to swim water we have to swim water and cross to arrest them the one who arrested they will find out that one of them is 12 one of them is 13. there's only one that is 20 something mm. you know what will you do with 12 and 13 years child imagine into such activity at that age so you find out that this thing has become a culture to them that anywhere is existing you become the enemy of almost 80 percent people that is benefiting from me indirectly or directly when i was asked a solution to total eradication of uh, bone creativity mm. I first of all mentioned a few days ago the fuel price was increased. Mm. When I say that, it means that increasing of the fuel price makes this board to do more bunker. One, they are, uh, they are, they are petrol and diesel they bring from bunker will be expensive. The more they increase fuel, fuel price and other is in, in, in increase, the more they do this bunker more because that is when they gain more gain. Like now, uh, the bunker for the one they sell along the road. Uh, Some time ago, they sell it 400 to 500 naira. Now that the fuel increases, they mm. sell it 1,500 naira per uh, Lagoris bottle on the way. You can see that they make more gain when there is a fuel scarcity in the country. You know, people prefer to buy from them when they mm. see that the petrol station is selling for 1,300 or something. They will sell for 800 or 700 mm. you people want to buy even if uh, apart from that if you go to the protection pr- pr- center you will not even see for to buy you have to buy from those process that let us know that it is the the negative or the uh, disadvantage of it is higher mm. than the advantage last time i told the people that in our various communities we that is going to fight this in our bunker we see a lot of things in the bush let me use let me tell you one or two one I have gone to the bush, find an old woman, an old man crying. The woman, I tried to interview the woman, he could not say anything out of tears. The man managed to say that, look, these people are taking over my fine land. This is the only thing I have and this is the only thing I'm surviving with. I've been living in plantation all my life. They have taken over and they have the whole place is full of bunker uh, material. And when we went there, they, they chased us away. Where will I survive from? Imagine if this old man have up to two, three years to live. He may not live up to one year. And the old way that is an one disadvantage secondly you i have also seen somebody dead covered several times in the bush when you investigate you find out probably maybe they are in, in, doing their own bunker activity and these people that are timber cutters or pan wine this uh uh pan uh pan uh, tapas, this pan wine tapas or fishermen and all mm. that they, they will be around doing their normal business and probably security agents now attack them Mm. When the security agent declare after running, they will not go to the person. Maybe when they see phone, they say you are the one that called them. When the person says, No, I don't, I have not, I'm minding my business. No, you are the one. They beat the person to death. You can see how they waste human beings like with that conscience. Thirdly, people born, just like this thing happened to me within November, December, 40 something people born in a place where I'm protected. So you can see how people are lavishing their lives. In the name of the okay tell me those people that is born would they at that point where they are born in would they not have regretted if they have lived this thing and faced any other way of survival wow. so i advise all of us to think positive